What's going on everybody? It's been a hot minute since I put up a video. I've had so much stuff going on over the past year. It's just been hard to find time to allocate toward this, but I wanted to put something up uh, since it's a nice day out. We got some good weather and I figured I would give you guys an update. So the last video that I posted was probably about eight months ago, which is crazy. Time really flies. And that was right after we ordered the Woodmiser sawmill so i ordered a big lt15 wide sawmill back in march of 2022 so it's been almost a year and uh, i have that sitting here today uh, to show you guys so here she is in all of her glory a brand new woodmiser lt15 wide sawmill it's uh quite the machine i've been doing a little bit of milling with it already sawed up a bunch of ash the other day and also sawed up a little bit of this maple um, right now the blade is dull so i gotta throw another one on there um, but i got this from the pennsylvania wood miser and like i said ordered back in march of 2022 i got the trailer package with it as well as the you know the wide version so i can do 36 inch wide cuts and that comes with the 25 horsepower kohler engine Obviously, I bought that skid steer last December, so uh, once I had that skid steer, that kind of opened the door for this thing. I think it's going to come out come out really handy, uh, come in really handy. Uh, when I get some property here soon, I'll be able to saw all my own lumber, hopefully be able to build a whole bunch of stuff from it. Um, when I get some land, I'll be able to build a kiln and things like that for drying. Um, but the first step of that was actually getting the skid steer and then the sawmill. We just have it parked in the driveway because we really do not have a whole lot of space. Uh, but what's nice about that trailer package is I can hook it up to my truck and I can pretty much take it wherever I want to go saw. This is some of the stuff that I sawed up the other day. Down here is a bunch of inch and a quarter ash. So six quarter ash. No, yeah, no, five quarter. Yes, five quarter ash, uh, inch and a quarter thick. We've got some varied... Uh, pieces of walnut up here just a bunch of test cuts uh, but I was super excited to get some hours on this thing the other day got some one by fours down there uh, some one by eights all kinds of stuff got these stacked up drawing and uh, this was just a whole bunch of experimenting cutting up a bunch of stuff and seeing how the mill performed so yeah it's been a fun adventure um, getting the sawmill going to pick it up trying it seeing what works seeing what doesn't work and that's kind of how it goes. It's going to take time to learn the machine. Uh, just like every other piece of equipment that I have, it takes time to kind of learn it inside and out. I've been working on a ton of these epoxy boards. Uh, a lot of these are two-stage pours with stuff down inside. I'll see if I can pull one out right here. So two-stage pours, they got bullet shells and stuff down the side. These will all get polished up and they'll get handles and little rubber feet and i will sell them at craft shows i've got stacks of them up here and then i just started another stack up there it's a little bit messy in here actually it's a it's, it's a lot messy in here it's very very dusty i gotta get uh get cleaning it but this is the new lathe it's a big power medic lathe uh bought this from a guy in the wood turning club and i got a really good deal on it i've done a lot of turning on it uh, of like snowmen and stuff and then I've also turned some bowls and things. So these are just some epoxy bowls that are in the works currently. Uh, a couple of these only have like two coats of finish on them. Like that's one of them. Um, but these things are just kind of getting one coat of finish every day. And then once I think they're at a good level, I will part that waste block off and then uh, finish them up. This is some more of the stuff that I saw the other day. Uh, this is some like really figured maple kind of some burly maple down in here. These are gonna make really cool epoxy pours. And then over here uh, is the same tree, um, but a big crotch section that I slabbed up. I'm probably gonna make some round side tables out of these with some epoxy. I think that'd be really cool, um, but they have to dry first. The F-250 is still running good. It's a beast towing that skid steer, which is up here. So it's been about a year and two months that i've had this skid steer haven't had any major problems or anything have used it on quite a few little side jobs helping people out 
and that thing is just so much fun to run and it's gonna work really good with the sawmill. So here she is, she still has the forks on her uh, from when I unloaded the pallets off of my flatbed trailer, the, the uh, sawmill pallets, um, but it's still looking good. I gotta clean it up a little bit, it's pretty messy, but this thing is still running awesome. Love the way that the paint job came out on this thing. You guys might remember when we did that and when we brought it home. Um, but it's going to be a good asset to have, especially with that sawmill, but also any other pieces of equipment that I buy. It's just nice to have this because you can unload pallets, you can move dirt, you can grade, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. But again, like I said, I really need to get a piece of land before I get too crazy with this because I'm still at my parents' house and... It's starting to kind of clutter up the yard. Up here in the garage, this is the other new machine. This is a Grizzly 20 inch planer. I put a helical, a Shelux head in it. And uh, I've just been planing boards down uh, this entire morning. So the only reason that this is up in the garage is because it's too big to put down in my shop. I have no more room in my shop. So this thing is on wheels. I just roll it over here toward the outlet when I need it and then once I'm done planing, I'll have to clean everything up and roll it back. But it's nice to have that 20-inch planer because that little 12-inch lunchbox planer really doesn't give you a whole lot of options for, for wider stuff. Um, but this thing's a beast. It's got a three-horsepower motor, and it's 220, obviously. With that Shelux head, it just cuts and cuts and cuts, and it, do it does not get dull with those carbide cutters. So you don't really have to change blades on this thing. The garage is an absolute disaster, but this is the Cook's sharpener and setter. I got this thing back in October. I don't think you guys have seen this thing yet. This basically sharpens those sawmill blades. So it's an automatic sharpener for those wood miser blades. And, uh, and that way I don't have to send them back to wood miser whenever I need to get them sharpened. So I'll be able to sharpen all my own blades. And I also got the setter. So the setter is also just as important that basically sets the tooth back into alignment. I've got that sitting over here because I literally have nowhere else to put it. Uh, so hopefully when I have a nicer shop one day, I'll have room for all this stuff and, uh, and I'll be able to use it to its full potential. So yeah, that's pretty much the operation. Uh, I'll probably throw in a few clips here of me sawing some wood with that wood miser. I got a lot of stuff cut yesterday um, and I got a good bit of clips of that. So I'll probably throw some of those up um, but that thing is cutting really good. Like I said, I sawed probably three to 400 board feet of ash. Um, and my blade is dull. So I've got, I got some more that I can throw on there. Or I could try sharpening this one, um, which I might do. But yeah, this thing is, this thing is a beast. And I love this thing. And hoping to be able to do some mobile sawing jobs and stuff with it. And see where I can take it. Polly, is that your ball? Get your ball. Come here. Polly, where's your ball? So, yeah, that's basically it. I uh, just wanted to show you guys that I got the sawmill since it has been so long uh, since I put up a video. So, I also, I got the sawmill, but I also need to get a haircut. My hair is out of control. But sawmill's here, so we can get practicing with that thing. We can start sawing our own lumber, and I think that's going to be a really good skill, like I said before. Polly also likes sawing lumber. Right, Polly? Thank you guys so much for watching this quick update video. I know there wasn't a whole lot of meat and potatoes to this one, uh, but I am still alive. I am still making projects. I am busier than ever. And, uh, and I just wanted to put something out for you guys to watch since it's been so long. And I think we've actually hit 20,000 subscribers. I don't know for sure. We might be close, but I think we just hit 20,000 subscribers. If we did, that's super awesome. That's super cool. And I haven't really been paying too much attention to it. Like I said, just because I've been focusing on so many other things and uh, I've just been so busy, the videos have kind of taken a back seat. So uh, we're either at 20,000 or we're about to get to 20,000. So uh, very much appreciative of you guys always commenting and watching the videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.